I'm Helen Beckett, the editor of the Business Value Exchange. And I'm here in the automotive stand at Discover, which is attracting a great deal of excitement, and understandably so, because perhaps more than any other sector, this industry is showing the pace of digital change. We're seeing the car, not just a chassis on wheels, but in fact has become a kind of a software laboratory. Today I'm talking to Jürgen Deffling, who's going to describe some of the exciting opportunities that await us. So the Internet of Things is transforming this industry because cars are powerful sensors on the IoT and make connecting with many other objects and new opportunities arise. Can you just talk us through some of those opportunities and how the Internet of Things works in the car industry? The Internet of Things is, is about connecting things and in this case the cars are connected too. So connected car everybody knows. But what is behind it? Basically it's, it's about cars uh, sending information because cars have a lot of uh, sensors inside so they can send information back. At the same time also uh, we are working on uh, cars can receive information so it's really connected, we call it hyper-connected. There's also other areas which is usually known as the, with the term car to X communication so the cars can communicate to whatever. For example, uh, you can go and, uh, and, your, and, and your car can com communicate with, with uh, your plug at home if you have an electric car. We come from, from the digital, uh, with our digital background, we really can help uh, digitizing the complete end-to-end uh, -end, uh, circle, you know, using our communications capabilities, our platform and cloud capabilities, as well as uh, analytics capabilities, and not to forget uh, our application development capabilities in order to, to really make sense of, of, the, of the data to really use the analyzed data in the context and with the context so uh, you can really use them according to your situation and even to your uh, industry, it's even going much beyond the automotive industry. So HPE with its cloud capabilities and its data analytics can really transform and exploit the, the car as a sensor device on the Internet of Things? Yeah, absolutely. It uses the car data, but we also use uh, the, the, the context information, additional uh, data. For example, if you as an OEM want to know much better your, your drivers, uh, your customers, we use uh, the car data on the one hand, but we know who is the driver related to the car. All that can be used, for example, in, in uh, user experience uh, campaigns to really uh, enhance the user experience. Nowadays, with um, you know, shared economy and the new generations, they, they treat the cars and, and how to be mobile much different. And from that perspective, uh, this is uh, key information for the OEMs in order to, to really stay uh, on track with the new habits and with uh, new uh, developments out, out there and the new trends. Many companies already have a lot of uh, sensors on their product and so is this for the automotive area. Uh, we help them to really look into the details of these and, and find out things they didn't know before, correlate them to also to contextual information and all that. There are myriad examples, aren't there? That's a really good one about the driving style and experience. And I guess there are other things they're capturing too, such as road service and weather conditions and all those kinds of contextual data, which can exactly. perhaps link up to, I don't know, insurance premiums, yeah. perhaps, and those kind of things. We did uh, some, some, uh, some research using the highly sophisticated uh, sensors in the car versus using just the sensors you have on a mobile phone. And uh, what we have uh, shown is they are pretty uh, similar. So uh, if you have a, a need to have a quick and maybe not too sophisticated solution, you can even use just use a mobile phone and from there derive insurance policies. It describes like, you know, a huge amount of complexity, huge volumes of data that you're capturing, transferring to the cloud and analyzing. I just wonder, is, is, how, how do you simplify it for the actual driver? How do you simplify the human interaction? You have a digital dashboard. Does data visualization play a part in that? It's really key to really uh, use the data and then the insights to, 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 to derive the right decisions, right? So we, we have a couple of software products and can help you to show the data, which is dashboard-like. We really flexibly can use it in all different cases. This is more if you use it in a, so let's say, in, a, in an office environment. But also we are now working on a so-called car to x communication solution scenario, where we collect data from, from different cars and we do, uh, we do that jointly with an automotive partner. And here we, uh, we are enabled through our platforms that the, in the context information of other cars is transferred to other cars who, for, for them it, uh, who it is uh, relevant. For example, if there is an icy road, uh, we can uh, notice that through the assistance systems in the car and the guys you know, a couple of kilometers back uh, will be notified, uh, uh, attention, there is icy road. So this is one example, or geofencing, this is another example, the car automatically uh, gets notified if, if you cross a border, you get the new information about what the rules are in that country. For example, in some countries you need to turn the lights on. 
and uh, it will tell you and it will even ask you, hey, should we just do it? And you will confirm and it will turn the light on. So these type of things we also have here in Discover at a showcase, we can, we can demonstrate uh, to our clients, which is really exciting. Wow, that's a really big, exciting canvas that you portray there. The car is an object connected on the Internet of Things, connecting to so many other objects, creating value and enhancing our safety as well. So many thanks, Jürgen. Yeah, you're welcome.